You're getting better. Oh yeah, I'm working on it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, blood thinners are kicking in. This is Joe Bossa with Music Radar, and I'm here with Zach Wild, guitarist extraordinaire, fashion plate, master tweeter, uh, blood clot survivor, um, sex change uh, survivor. Survivor. How you doing, Zach? I'm doing good, brother. Fantastic. Well, we are here to take a look at your brand new creation, the Epiphone Gra Graveyard Disciple guitar. Oh, yes, yes. So, uh, now you're, of course, primarily known as a Les Paul player. Yeah, totally. So this is a radical change for you. Well, the guys did the, um, I mean, for me, it's just like uh, what the guys did. I mean, you know, working with Gibson and everything like that, and Epiphone, they did the, uh, obviously, when they, they made the, uh, the ZV, you know, it's like a... SGD flying B type thing and made that one for me and then obviously I've been playing flying B for a bit now and then uh you know but I just love guitars, you know what I mean? So I'm, you know, my Les Paul's and everything like that. So uh you know, we, the way this thing came about, the really disciple, we uh we were sitting around the uh you know, just started like old Diddley's guitar and then uh, you know, Billy Gibbons with the the Billy Bone and everything, you know. The guitar is so god awful ugly, you know, what I mean it's just like that's the whole charm of the guitar, so uh Lately, I've just been, you know, checking out things on eBay and Vintage Guitar Magazine, you know, and just old guitars and stuff like that, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, but just like these really, you know, just odd shape, old, like, 50s, 60s guitars and stuff like that, so, uh, almost like the uglier the better, you know what I mean, so, uh, you know, just for shits and giggles, buying new guitars, so it's it just like, uh, I've been sitting there hanging out one day with my buddies, I was looking, you know, for like a old, like a bow diddly thing, I didn't know whether they sold them or whatever, on mm -hmm. or anything like that, so. Uh, well, I was thinking about just picking up one of the, uh, the Billy Bow things, you know, uh, Billy Gibbons guitar, you know, just, uh, how, uh, just buy one of those, just sit, move around on it and jam it, you know, just sit, just another tour, you know, another cool guitar. So, uh, I was just talking with the guys over at Epiphone, I got this, uh, you know, our, our merchandise company, uh, Bravado, ended up giving us the, uh, for Halloween, they ended up making this coffin with a black label logo on it, and I guess on the inside of it was, uh, on the inside of a bunch of lollipops with all song titles on it, House of Doom, Damage is Done, you know, all these other, I mean, all the songs, I mean, it was beyond gay, the whole thing, so I uh, ended up taking that, and I just put it on a piece of paper, the uh, the coffin, you know, the, the coffin chair thing, that, you know, I just right. put a guitar neck on it and everything, took a picture of it, and I sent it to uh, Epiphone, and I said, guys, see if you can make a guitar, you know, make a, make a guitar out of it, so, I mean, I was just doing the shits and giggles for them to make me something, but, uh, I mean, they did an amazing job with the thing. So, uh, basically, what, what it is, the body is uh, just like an, a Gibson SG. Right. So, it's all, you know, this is all mahogany, just one piece. So, then you got, uh, then the neck is uh, just like my Les Pauls. But, I mean, it feels like a Les Paul, uh, like a classic neck. It's uh, a bit thinner and flatter. So, uh, I mean, it, the thing feels great. So, it's got uh, ebony fretboard, and, uh, and then you got maple on the back. So, uh, I mean... Uh, I love the guitar, man. They, they, they did an amazing job. So I've been jamming on this thing most of the time. And you have the EMGs. The EMGs, obviously, in there. And then you have the toggle switch up here. And then they obviously put the kickstand on it. Now... Because you're not going to be playing this thing sitting down without those things. So. I was going to say, now, as as primarily a Les Paul player, was it odd for you to get used to the, the feel of this guitar? Um, no. Because when you're sitting down with it, when I sit down with it like this, it feels like you're playing a, like a, an SG. That's what it feels like. Well, especially because of the neck, you can get... We can get up to every fret on this thing. So to me, it's similar, you know, for me sitting down playing it. I, I think if you ask anybody who plays an SG or anything, or, or plays Les Paul, they sit down with this thing, it'll feel like, it, it feels more like an SG, the way the, the way it's, uh, the neck feels, you know, the way it's positioned and everything like that. Now, th now this is a, um, a special model that you have. Right over here, we have the production model. Yeah, there's a... Uh, all I did was, you know, I mean, hopefully like, down the line they'll start making uh, a production model of this. It's just with a metal front. I, you know, I had one of my buddies, Matty uh, Barato, Barato Vitars. He just stuck this on the front for me. So, uh, but the production model is just straight up, you know what I mean, with the pen stripe on uh, anything like that. But it's the same exact guitar that I'm playing right now. So, Absolutely uh, looks beautiful. Now, you're going to be playing this tomorrow, Halloween, and I see you already have your uh, Clockwork Orange look started, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah, tomorrow, you know, hanging out with the New York chapter. With, with Black, Black Label Society. Society? Yep. So, uh, yeah, we'll be knocking that out tomorrow. So that ought to be, you know, I mean, pretty much every one of our shows is a Halloween, uh, Halloween event. God only knows what it's going to be like tomorrow night. So, uh, 
Oh, but, but it ought to be pretty awesome, man. Well, it's always a party. And you, uh, and, and, and by the way, thanks for letting me beat you at arm wrestling uh, a few minutes ago. I, I, I do appreciate that. I, I don't know. It's amazing I can even play right now because I, I think you broke something. You know, my labia or fibia <laughs> or meniscus or something. Something's broken. Well, well, well Zach, be before, we, uh, before we go, why don't you take us out with a, a, a little more jamming on the... It's getting better. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach, thank you very much. This is Joe Bossa with Music Radar with Zach Wild. Thank you very much, buddy. You got it, Joe.